<laughs> I don't know. I, I'm my guy, fellas. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, it's uh, 6 a.m. in the morning right now. The patch just dropped, and uh, I am I am presented with the MiG 21 SMT. And what that just means to me is I, it, it's smitten. I'm smitten by the MiG 21, especially this one. This is new to the Russian tech tree at 10.3. Uh, with, with, with no really announcement, like, hey, here's like a, a top tier changing jet. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, by the way, it has R60s. You, get, you guys know what R60s are? It, it's a missile that likes to really, really follow its target. Like, it, like, zoom. I don't want to talk too much about them because I want to see how they're really implemented in the game. Um, but uh, what this is, is an upgrade at MiG-21. I'll bring up the other MiG-21. See, this guy I was kind of excited for. This, how, this is how you know that uh, there's really no... Uh, I don't understand this at all. This is... This is 10.3? This is 10.3. But this literally has a much stronger engine. 4,800 kilograms. Now, this plane does weigh more, okay? But, like, how much more? I mean, sure, it has more fuel, but we have a 4,800 kilogram thrust. 3,350? With two RS, R3Ss that can now apparently 10G max overload. Four more Gs of performance overnight, just like, just like that. Pretty, pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat. Okay, continuing on. Um, this new MiG-21 at 10.3 has four missiles. These are, I'm not, I'm not joking. These are the R-60s. These things are pretty, <clears throat> excuse me. These things are pretty well known throughout um, MiG-21 sphere. 18 Gs. 18 Gs of tolerance. Now, the downside is that we have less explosive mass, but I'd rather send 3.5 kilograms at a, a fast-moving target with 18G potential than uh, uh, 11 kilograms of explosive mass with only 10G. But we have four of them. We, we, we have four chances to get these to hit. These, these are extremely, extremely good missiles. These are on the, uh, the Russian helicopter, the uh, MiG-20... 4P. Let's see. These are the M's, though, right? So the M's have two more G's. And it seems like they're able to lock on uh, from the front two kilometers out. Let's see what these can do. I think these are just rear aspect. Yeah, there's nothing about um, blocking in any direction. <laughs> Okay, continue on. Now, by the way, these are these are still 10.3s. Uh, this one has 200 rounds of ammunition. So, two guns, uh, underbelly core for 100 rounds per gun. A, a huge improvement. Much more bursting and firing when you think you might not get a hit, but, you know, sometimes that does work. Compared to 60 rounds for one gun. Now, this MiG-21, I really, uh, well, recently I've heard a lot about it, but this isn't the MiG-21 when I hear MiG-21. I think it's gorgeously ugly. That spine is disgusting, uh, but it, uh, it it looks mean and aggressive, in my opinion. But yeah, this isn't the MiG-21 that I think of when I hear MiG-21. It's this one. War Thunder added another MiG-21 to the game. This is the MiG-21MF, which has a much thicker spine than the original one. It doesn't look that aggressive. Like, I don't know. The spine of this German MiG-21MF is to die for. Like, this is like... <laughs> now, this one at 10.3 has a, a lesser engine, but it's lighter. The fuel tank, the, the spine area is lighter. Um, and it's going to have the R6DM with 200 rounds of ammunition. Or, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. It's going to have the R60. So these two MiGs are going to bring a lot of power 
Uh, back to uh, top tier uh, Jets. Not not saying that the uh, the Russians really lost too much with the strangely hugely buffed MiG uh, nineteen PT. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be trying the the Russian MiG twenty one SMT out first. See how it goes, and. Um, yeah. <laughs> now this gameplay you're gonna see is first impression. I I don't really think I'll be fully able to control this thing. I want everyone to watch the acceleration on it. I'm just gonna go 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 right from start. Full power. Four thousand eight hundred kilograms of thrust. Oh my gosh. Look at the bottom right. Do we have like RWR? Oh my god, look at the acceleration. Look at the acceleration. Take off. Take off. Gear. Flaps. Oh my gosh, look at the acceleration. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that thing this fast since the MiG-19. Maybe I maybe I just haven't played Jets in a long time, but that seems really 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 fast. I mean, we're leaving the T2 and the... Well, the T2, yeah, whatever. No F4s? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to control this thing. This thing's mean. I don't know. I, I feel like this thing's definitely faster than the F4. In the, in, in the acceleration department. It's going to be questionable if it's faster... Than the uh, the British F4. That's where I think, I think these two, and I, I haven't tested out the other one, um, might be neck and neck. Oh yeah, sure. Just just go into mock. Yeah, it's cool. No problem. No problem. <laughs> now these are different. Um, these aren't 30 mils, by the way, guys. These are 23 mils, which, in my opinion, are um, just as good, especially when you see how fast they fire. Um, so I guess that is the trade-off. You don't have a 30 mil anymore. But real talk, like this system's much better. Okay, let's um, let let's see what we can do with this. I mean, all, all this thing is is just a is, is a system to deploy missiles. Now at high altitude, these missiles are going to have such a such a nice advantage over these high altitude planes. Okay, uh, into one thousand two hundred, extremely easy. I don't really want to go head on. Well, we're not really going head on. Dang, dude, he almost pulled a Cobra on me. That was sweet. That was really cool maneuver. Okay, we're off. He's critical engine. I didn't realize how fast we were going to overtake him there. I, I already can't control this thing. Oh my gosh. It's 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 been quiet for so long. They're all chasing that poor MiG-19 down. Okay, we got to be careful he'll kill here. We got to level out. This is a high altitude fight. Now, do we have combat? All right, we're going to put some combats on and turn in. Just at this altitude, these little wings and elevators don't like to respond too well. Or like we're used to at 4,000 meters. Okay, raised. Trying to make sure that we kind of keep an advantage here. Whoa. Whoa. I just got locked by something? I don't know. 
Okay, anyways, we got T2 here. Now, th now th this guy is actually pretty fast right now, so we're not going to launch a missile. Someone's locking me up from somewhere. But we're going to start to overtake this guy. We're going to re this missile. Eighteen G overload. Want to be careful of our teammate here. Fox two. I don't know who's locking me up. It, it might be ground stuff. I'm not sure how how what's happening right now. But we're free. Okay, let's let's get off the web here. Well, the afterburn, we got a MiG-19 we're about to drop in on. Power, power. Okay, he's full turn. Pull off. Keep the speed up. I wonder what happened to our uh, first crit we had. Just trying to keep my six clear because things can develop extremely quick at, with planes like this. All it is is just MiG-19 gang, dude. <laughs> the MiG-19. I just want to sneak in and slot in perfectly. Okay, we gotta be careful here. MiG-21 is turning around. We're gonna try to get a, uh, a lag. Might break my flaps here. That was pushing it. Tried my best there. Off we go. MiG-19 missile. Oh, yeah. These things have actually 10 Gs right now. I think. Well, MiG-19 is good at climbing, too. I think he I think he's a little bit better, but we're able to climb a little bit quicker. I want to help our team out down there. I can't let that guy go one one v one. We're gonna turn in and hope for the acceleration on this puppy. Try to get into Mach one point something. God, buddy. Gun time, maybe. Nope. Can't pull. I'm trying, I'm trying to help this guy out. Damn, I really wish I could help that guy, but... That thing's fast, ain't it? Wait, what happened? Oh, you got him. Nicely done, dude. Those are close. <laughs> this is kind of funny though. This thing's so fast. We're gonna get, get it off WEP a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna have to last a little longer. I don't wanna bring these guys back to our base. Oh, we're gonna have to step it up now. We got a MiG-19 trailing. I want those guys to be able to repair. I would like to be able to um, acquire a six uh, this game again. That'd be cool. Fox two. That's not going to hit. No fun. Off we go.
Yeah, 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 yeah. In the game. In the game. In the game. Yeah, that was, uh, I, I, this thing, um, has a really weird, better flight model than I expected. It's super strong. You can pull like 13 G's sometimes, but this is going to be a, a wonderful dogfighter. And you saw that engagement with the, uh, the MiG-19. Uh, now we, we didn't perfectly do that, but we were able to take a chance and we were able to get back on target. Um, I, I think these missiles are great if you can maybe stay hidden and, uh, get the upper hand. But if a MiG-19 sees you, um, they're able to out turn it. That makes sense. Which I don't fully understand. And I'm kind of happy with that. This missile is great for homing in on a target, but if it's full, full pull, um, it's going to, it's going to miss it, which I, I kind of do like because the enemy player is sacrificing his um, advantage, his speed just to defend that one missile. And I think once he gets down a little bit, you won't be able to do it for too long. But this missile isn't as good as I thought. Now, this was just one gameplay. First impressions, we're going to have to uh, give these MiG-21 some time in the air to really formulate a concrete idea of what the R-60 is. Um, but yeah, those um, those 23 millimeters are pretty decent. Almost got two kills with them today. Uh, got the, uh, the MiG-21 in front or in the first engagement wing or something. I don't, maybe I got a, a kill assist. And then we're able to cut with the MiG-19 like that to uh, clinch our second kill of the game. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs>